What's up guys, welcome to another video, Alex here. Sorry about my voice, I'm not feeling 100%, but nonetheless, in today's video, what I wanted to do was go through and show you how you guys can get these cool custom icons on your Samsung device and change the look and feel of your phone. So you can see that this is the icon pack that I have applied right now, and it looks really fun and playful, and it really changes the whole look and feel of your phone, especially when you pair it with a cool wallpaper to match the theme. Now, of course, the very first thing you're gonna have to do is actually download some icon packs. So if you go to your Play Store and then and search for icon pack you're gonna get a list of lots and lots of different icon packs that you can download to your phone now a lot of these are free but personally I would spend one to two dollars and get yourself a really good icon pack because I've tried a lot of free ones and there really isn't that many good ones that I really like so the one I installed was this crayon icon pack I think it was like a dollar fifty and I'm gonna show you why it's a good idea to spend a little bit of money so if I go into the actual applications you can see that this application supports almost six thousand icons and that's amazing because there will most likely be an icon for any application that you have on your phone but if there isn't one you can always go to this request tab here and and you'll see a list of all the applications on your phone that this icon pack doesn't have an icon for and you can always put a request to the developer for them to make you one so definitely a really nice little feature and another thing that i really love is they have their own wallpaper section with all these different wallpapers that match the theme of their icons and that's actually the wallpaper that i'm using here is directly from that application so you can see that spending one or two dollars on these icon packs is a really good idea because they have lots and lots of icons matching wallpapers and they can even create more icons for whatever application applications you have on your phone and on top of that you're supporting the developers who spent hours and hours of their time to create these icon packs all right guys so let's get into it as you can see i unapplied my icon pack and set everything back to default and these are the icons that come stock on your samsung phone now the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your galaxy store and install the good lock application this is an application made by samsung to help you customize your phone so once you have it installed tap open and you can think of good lock like its own app store with a bunch of modules that you can install inside to help you customize your phone if you guys want a tutorial and a whole separate video about good lock let me know because there's a whole lot of stuff in here that can really help take your phone's customization to the next level but in this video we're just going to focus on the theme park module so make sure you're in this makeup section here and then tap on theme park if it's your first time using it it will ask you to install the theme park module so just go ahead and install it and then once you do when you tap on it you'll see all these options down here tap on icon and then here tap create new and then it'll give you this little layout here. And what you need to do here is just tap icon pack up here and then select from all of the icon packs that you've installed on your phone. So for me, I have this crayon one. So I'm going to tap on this and then it will load all of these images and you can see how it's going to look on your phone. And you can see that there's actually a few icons here that aren't supported by this icon pack. And what you can do is go down here and choose what these unsupported um, applications are going to look like so you can see you can give it a few customization options you can change the colors so maybe you want to make them red uh, we'll tap OK just to show you what that looks like you can see everything that's unsupported will fall back on this default uh, look that you set up in here so go ahead and customize this to how you want I'm just gonna leave it like this for the purpose of this video and when you're done tap this little download button here and give your icon pack a name so I'm just gonna call it crayon because that's the name of the actual icon pack and then hit done, tap OK, and it's going to install it on your phone. All right, so there you go. You can see it's done, and we have this little uh, crayon pack right here. Now all you need to do is tap on it and then hit apply, and it's going to apply this to your phone and change all of your icons to the icon pack. And there you go, you can see now we're back to our phone, and we've applied this icon pack onto our phone, and all the icons are uh, matching this little this crayon icon pack, except the ones that aren't supported, by the crayon icon application because not all applications have an icon as I showed you earlier so they'll default to this look that you set in your actual theme park module but there you go guys that's pretty much everything you need to do to change the icons on your phone you can go ahead and change the wallpaper to whatever you want you can even go into that application and then select something else from here so we'll say maybe we want to use this wallpaper on our home screen tap ok applied and now you can see when we go into our phone we get this cool new wallpaper that matches our icons now as a bonus tip for this video if you want to go for a minimalistic view you might have noticed that my icons don't actually have any text under them so for your phone it might say instagram under here facebook under here reddit under here i actually got rid of that because i like this minimalistic look and if you want to set that up what you need to do is go back to your good lock module and install this home app module so tap into here and install it and then once you have it installed Go to this home screen section here 
And at the bottom, you see there's an option that says hide app icon label. So I have this enabled, but if I disable it, you can see that it starts showing me all of the text under the icon. So if you like that, you can keep that enabled. But if you want to go for that minimalistic view, like I had, you can go back into here and then just tap hide icon label and you can see they all disappear and we have a very clean look. But there you go, guys. That's pretty much how you install custom icons on your phone without needing a third party launcher. Just get the good log application and then install some icon packs from the Play Store and apply them through the theme park module. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Again, let me know if you want me to do a tutorial of the good log application because there's a lot of really cool stuff in here that can really take your customization of your phone to the next level. I use a lot of the stuff in here. But for now, make sure to like the video, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.